These are the grisly photos from another police dog mauling. It happened over the weekend in Surrey. The latest victim, a 16-year-old break-and-enter suspect. Surrey RCMP say two teens broke into this gas station on 108th Avenue at about 2 a.m. on Saturday morning. The Mounties initiated a police dog pursuit, which eventually tracked down one of the boys nearby. The 16-year-old, who cannot be named under the Youth Offender Act, resisted the dog suffering serious lacerations to his face. He was later hospitalized. Each case is different, uh, but what you have to keep in mind is uh, our, our police service dogs are trained to bite and hold, but that's exaggerated when you have a, a, a fleeing individual, when you have uh, that individual that is resisting, that is combative, or, or any one of those things will escalate the response by the dog until that situation is de-escalated. Pivot Legal Society represents another victim of a police dog mauling, this one happening in a back alley in Vancouver. When a dog is let off leash and is trained to, in what is called the bite and hold um, method, that really you're deploying a weapon and that it should be thought about in the same way. That we're looking at almost half of all injuries in police instances are involving dogs. So I think this is actually a really big substantial issue. I think it's a lot to expect that someone would remain calm and not struggle when a dog was holding on to their leg. The quick decisions need to be made. Uh, I think for the most part they're the right decisions. That's not what I'm saying in this particular case whether it was a right or wrong decision in regards to what led up here. But there's many decisions that our officers make and that this is one of them in regards to how to utilize a police service dog in a particular situation. The RCMP say they're reviewing the incident, saying injuries like these aren't typical unless a suspect further aggravates the dog. Michael Popove, Insury for BCIT Magazine.